the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we exalt you for your grace in our life this morning. We lift our voice and praise to you for who you are, for your love towards us. That be that exalted in Jesus. Jehovah God, we thank the Lord for grace of your love. We thank the Lord for your spirit. We thank the Lord for your grace. We thank the Lord for your strength in our life. That be that exalted in the name of Jesus. As we lift our voice before you, God, Father, have your way. Have your way, O oh God. Manifest yourself. Let your name alone be glorified. Let your name alone be worshipped. And let your name alone be glorified, O oh God. Let your name alone be worshipped. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Let's begin to thank the Lord and begin to worship Him. Let's exalt Jesus, the Lord, you are good, you are great, you are kind, you are wonderful. There is no one like you, O oh God. Lift your voice and bless the Lord. Lift your voice and worship Jehovah oh God. Lord, you are good, Lord, you are kind. Lord, there is no one like you. There is no one beside you. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we we'll thank you. Father, we we'll worship you. Jehovah God, we we'll exalt you. You magnify that name that is above every other name. Somebody thank him and give that praise to the king for this great privilege once again of coming to him, of lifting our voice in praise to him. Let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to appreciate the Lord. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. We worship you. We honor you. We exalt you. Somebody thank the Lord, thank Him. Lift a voice in honor. Lift a voice in praise. Lift a voice in adoration to God. Let's begin to thank Him. Let's begin to appreciate Him. Worship the Lord. Worship Him. Exalt Him. Magnify Him. Thank you, O God. What a mighty God that we serve, what a mighty God that we worship. That heaven and earth bow before him, even the angels worship him. We are serving the living God. We are serving the King of Kings. We are serving the El Shaddai. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that honor to him. Let's give that praise to the Lord. That worship to the King. To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Somebody appreciate the Lord. Give that glory to him. Appreciate him. Say, Lord, I just thank you for what you have done for me and for what you will do again in my life this morning. In our praise, we lift our voice before the Lord. In our praise, we lift our voice before the King. Somebody give that praise to Him. Give that honor to whom is due to receive it. Lord, with my voice, with heart of thanksgiving, I worship you this morning. I honor you this morning. Lift our voice and bless Him. Glorify the name of God. Glorify the name of King. Glorify the name of Jesus right now and say to him, Lord, I thank you. Lord, you are great. There is no one like you. 
there is no one beside you. You are the Lord Almighty. You are the King. You are the El Shaddai. You are my God. You are my Savior. You are Jehovah God, Elohim, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I exalt you. Lord, I honor your name. Somebody honor him. Let's lift our voice in praise to the King. Let's say, Jehovah God, great are you, O God. Great are you, O God. Thank you, Father. Rock of ages, I honor your name. Rock of ages, I worship you. Rock of ages, we thank you. Rock of ages, you are great. Thank him, exalt him. Exalt the Lord. Exalt the over God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Is God Almighty? Is God Almighty? Is Jehovah God? Exalt and magnify Him. Say, Lord, I just thank you. Lord, I worship you. I honor you. I praise you. I worship you. I give you praise. We honor your name. Lift your voice, bless Him. Thank Him. Give that praise to him, Hosanna in the highest of our God. Hosanna in the highest of our King. Hosanna in the highest of Jehovah God. What a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God that we worship. What a mighty God that we serve that heaven and earth bow before him. Even the angels worship him. We serve in the living God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, wonderful God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Emmanuel, we worship you. Thank you, Lord, give that praise to him. Thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. A rock of ages, a place of strength, our Lord Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. You are the Lord. Lord, the Lord, be glorified. Let's lift our voice. You are the Lord. Let the name be glorified. Yeah. 
another day. Thank him. Thank him for the plans of God for your life. Thank him for the love of God towards you. Thank him for his patience over our life. Let's thank God for God's patience over us. Let's thank him. Lord, I exhort you. Marizado zata dalaba malo plendo suku tulebo matuku rabate kerebo son tulebo rapa santa labakao Le prundu sunto kurobo yabo. Lift your voice and thank him. Rikazuka tali maruzuka. Lift your voice and worship him. Jehovah God, I bless you because you are great. 
You are kind. You are wonderful. Open your heart and pray. Give him praise. Give the Lord the praise. May Zuko to make it level. La Prando Zucata level. Lift your voice and thank him. Rapazutu Kulaba Yakaba. Lift your voice and thank him. Give God the praise. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I honor you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for who you are. I give the Lord the praise. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Jehovah God. Lift your voice. Bless the Lord. Bless Jehovah God. Jehovah Shama. We give you praise. Jehovah Nisi. We honor your name. Jehovah El Shaddai. We give that praise to you because you are great. You are wonderful. You are glorious. There is no one like you. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. We honor you for what you will do. We give you praise for your love towards us, for your grace towards us. Lord, we thank you. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that praise to him. And to Rosu to Limakata. Luzuko to Legelebo. Makata Limazekelebo. Lift your voice. Bless the Lord. Bless Jehovah God. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I honor you. Jesus, I bless your name. Jesus, I glorify you. Glorify you for what you are doing. Glorify you for what you will do. Thank you, Lord, for the plan that you have for everyone, everyone this morning. Thank you for the blessing over every lie. Thank you, Lord, for what you will do. Jesus, we honor your name. Peter, exalted, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray let us begin to dip ourselves in that blood of Jesus. And Lord, you are God to wash us. Let you are God begin to wash us. Let you are God begin to cleanse us. Let you are God begin to purify us. Lift your voice and we go dip ourselves in that blood of the Lamb. Lord, we cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to cover ourselves in the blood. Let's say, Lord, we cover ourselves in the blood. In the blood of the Lamb. Let's lift our voice. Let's cover ourselves in the blood of the Lamb. That you, oh my God, we cover ourselves in the blood of the Lamb. We cover ourselves in the blood of the Lamb. You, oh my God, we dip ourselves in the blood of the Lamb. El Shaddai, we dip ourselves in the blood of the Lamb. That the blood of Jesus cover you right now. As we lift your voice before God. Lift your voice before him. Say, Lord, I dip myself in that blood. In that blood of the Lamb. Let the blood of Jesus cover me. Somebody pray, Mukutu Limazika Tayaba. I dip myself in the blood. Luzakutu Kelabalika Sitelebo. Dip yourself in the blood of the Lamb. Muzuka Telinema Usa Telebo. Open your heart to pray. I dip myself in the blood, in the blood of Jesus. I dip myself in that blood, in the blood of the Lamb. I dip myself in the blood of the Lamb. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself. Somebody cover yourself in the blood. Let that blood purify me. Let that blood sanctify you. Let that blood make you whole. As you look unto God, lift your voice to Him. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover my life in the blood. Somebody pray. Tell the Lord you cover your life. La Otokorabatebo. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover my life with the blood. Open your heart to pray. That you dip yourself in the blood of Jesus. And you cover your life. Open your heart to God. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus. And I cover my life with that blood. Somebody pray. Dip yourself in the blood. Cover your life with that blood. In the name of Jesus. I dip my life in that blood of Jesus. I cover my life. I cover my children. I cover my family. Somebody dip yourself in the blood of Jesus. Cover your life with that blood. I dip myself in the blood. Let the blood begin to speak. Let the blood begin to speak. Concerning me, remember, the blood only speaks of mercy. The blood only speaks of mercy. 
the blood, the blood of Jesus only speak of mercy. Oh, they say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Abel speak vengeance, but the blood of Jesus speaks better thing. The blood of Jesus only speak favor. The blood of Jesus only speak kindness, goodness. Let that blood begin to speak over your life, over your children, in every areas of life. I plead that blood over my life. I plead that blood over my children. I plead that blood over my family. I dip my life in it, in that blood of the Lamb. I dip myself in it, in that blood of the Lamb. I dip my life in it. Somebody dip your life in the blood of Jesus. Dip yourself in that blood. Dip yourself in that blood. Dip yourself in that blood. Somebody dip yourself in that blood. Mokatole mezukotole mekebo. Mate karabato kele mazikaba. Deep yourself in that blood, in the blood of the Lamb, in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself, I cover my life, I cover my children. Open your heart to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. pray, pray, pray. Deep yourself in the blood, in the blood of Jesus, in the blood of the Lamb, in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself. Somebody cover yourself in the blood of the Lamb. Open your heart to pray. Somebody pray that prayer. I dip myself in the Lord. Let the blood cleanse me. Let the blood purify me. Let the blood of the Lamb sanctify me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tell the Lord that He help me, O oh God, as I come to you. Help me spiritually to grow. You know, if someone is not growing spiritually, it's only two things that can happen to someone spiritually. There's no three things. It's only two. Whether someone is growing or someone is dying. It's two. It can't be I'm, 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 I'm in the middle. There's not a middle. In the spiritual realm, it's whether you are growing. Which God wants us to grow. The Bible talks from glory to glory. Or someone is dying. You know, and dying cannot happen a day. Spiritually, for someone to die is not a day thing. Oh, you find somebody dies a day. No, no, no. It's a gradual thing. Gradual things in the spiritual life is a gradual thing. It's a gradual thing. Not so oh, somebody wake up today and things happen. Oh, no, no, no. It's a gradual thing. Take a little level. Level it all. A little level. Level everything all. A little, a little thing, a little thing, a little thing, a little thing, and before that person know, then it's finished. Lift your voice and say, Father, help me to grow. Let me keep on growing. Oh, know that you are growing, you are receiving strength. Strength is coming upon your life. When you are growing, you are waxing great. And Bible told about, about Isaac, he said, he moved forward, and now he became so great. Hallelujah. Oh, God made him to be great. Open your heart to pray. Say, Lord, let me to grow in the name of Jesus. Don't let me die. Help me, Father. In that as you grow in your word, grow in my time with you, grow in my fellowship with you. Somebody pray. Pray and talk to God. That Lord God of heaven to help you to grow in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, help me, Father, to grow in you. Help me, Father, to grow in you. Help me, Father, to grow in you. Somebody pray that prayer. Help me to grow in you. Help me to grow in the name of Jesus. In Christ, tell the Lord to help you to grow. As the Lord, Father, help me to grow in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Lezuka talabaru sotolebo, manaka dalabagaba, lozukunto le megelebo. Somebody pray, 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 pray and talk to God. My Father, help me to grow in You. My Father, help me to abide in You. Let Your Word abide in me. Let me abide in You. That's another thing that more someone can grow. The Bible says, "My Word abide in You, and You abide in me." You know, it's too thing. You can't say I can't do without you. 
Oh, someone do without crying. That's failure right there. You have to abide in him. You have to stay in him. And he has to stay in you. That also can make us to grow. That is stay in me. Let me stay in you. Somebody pray. Father, stay in me. Let me stay in you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody let's pray that prayer. Tell the Lord to stay in him. And him also to stay in us. Let's pray. Father, stay in me. Let me stay in you. Open your heart and pray. In the name of Jesus. You need that. I need that. I need that. You need that. Rapa to kutuke riba. Daddy, help me to stay in you. Le brondo suko tolebe. Matuku raba katelebo. Mazuka telebo kaba. Open your heart to God. Jehovah God, help me to stay in you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, make a way out for me as I cry unto you. You need a way out. I told them that you are passing through. You need a way out. Tell the Lord that he make a way out for me. Make a way out for my life. Out of this very thing in life, there are many people who have died in what they are passing through. They can't able to come out. So people try all their best. They run from one place to another, but they can't come out. But you can come out by the power of God. God of heaven will bring you out in any areas of life that you find yourself. You are coming out by the power of God. God of heaven is bringing you out. Lift your voice to Jesus. Say, Father, let me come out of my situation. Lord, in your power, bring me out. I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Lord, I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, you are bringing me out. In the heart of my struggle, you are bringing me out. Out of disappointment of life, you are bringing me out. Open your heart of, heart of stagnancy, you are bringing me out. Somebody pray that prayer. The Lord God of heaven is bringing you out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out by God's grace. You are coming out. Your dream is coming out. Your life is coming out out of failure. Your children is coming out. In the name out of that bondage, you are coming out. Somebody pray to the Lord that you are coming out in Jesus' name. That God of heaven is bringing you out. No more failure in your life. No more stagnancy in your life. No more disappointment in your life. Open your heart to pray. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice to God. Mayatarosha Kayaba. La Prendo Suko Tolea. Makoro la Kataleo. La Zuko Tole Mezikao. Lo Prendo Suko Talea. Rapatu de Keleo. Open your heart to God. Le Prendo Sike Teleo. Makanda la Baisha Toleo. La prendo si Open your heart to God that you are coming out. You are coming out. I'm coming out. Lord, you make a way out. The Lord that make a way out for the children of Israel. Tell the Lord that Lord Jehovah God is bringing you out. Is bringing your dream out. Out of that failure. Out of that stagnancy. Out of disappointment of life. You are coming out. Fulfillment must happen this year. Breakthrough must happen. Success must happen. Open doors must happen. Somebody pray that prayer that you are coming out by the power of God. The Lord Jehovah God is bringing you out. Failure must depart from your life. Disappointment must depart from your dream. In the name of Jesus. Stagnancy must depart from your life. Somebody pray that prayer that you are coming out. Power of God is bringing me 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 out. The name of Jesus Christ is bringing me out. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ is bringing me out. Open your heart to pray. Power of God is bringing me out. The name of Jesus Christ is bringing me out. Open your heart to God. Power of God is bringing me out. The name of Jesus Christ is bringing me out. Somebody pray that prayer. Power of God is bringing me out. Open your heart to pray. Power of Jehovah God is bringing me out. Is bringing my dream out in the name of Jesus. No more stagnancy, no more disappointment in the name of Jesus. Every power in Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, remove whatever that blocks the way from our life. Say, Lord, remove that power, remove that thing that blocks me. Remove some people say, Oh, when I want to have progress, you just see yourself back, going back. That shall not be your portion. The Lord you God will break that yoke. Say, Lord, remove whatever thing that blocks the way. Pharaoh's tools in the way of the children of Israel. Say, they are not going anywhere. And the Lord said, no, 
I will remove you. The Lord will remove it. Oh, that's what the Bible says. He said, Who is that mountain before Zerubbabel? Oh, who is that mountain? He said, The house, he said, the, the hand of Zerubbabel that begins this very thing, is that hand also will finish it. Oh, it's when people want to do things in green thing. Look at Nehemiah. When Nehemiah set up his mind to build up the, the, the wall of Jerusalem, the wall of Jerusalem, no, Tobiah and Sambalat stood against him and said, No, we are not going to build this thing. Enemy of progress. When there is progress, there are always going to be enemies. When there is success, there are always going to be enemies. Enemies of great things that stands in the way. Whatever thing that stands in the way of my moving forward, of my going higher, Holy Spirit, remove it. Somebody pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer. Lutakatoli matata. Whatever thing that stands in the way, open your heart and pray. You spirit of stagnancy. You spirit of backwardness. You spirit of failure. In that you spirit of disappointment. When good things want to come. When you want to get good things. You spirit that operates in my life. That operates in life of my children. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of no. You spirit of no. Somebody pray. That spirit of no. No. Today. No. Let them do seek eleven. The Lord will book you out of the way in the name of Jesus. Progress must come before the end of this year. My success must come in the name of Jesus. I must receive my total healing. Somebody pray a prayer. Things must happen in the name of Jesus. The Lord must multiply. Heaven must step in. There must be divine intervention. Open your heart to God. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Everything that's in the way of my glory, of my fulfillment, of my glory. Somebody pray. Let God begin to remove it with everything that's in your way. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. No more. No more in my life. You know that everything that you have been crying. Begin to say no more. I say no more in the name of Jesus. I say no more to failure. I say he always come to repeat himself. But I say no more. Failure always come to repeat himself. You know, after you have prayed, after you have cried to the Lord, the devil always wants to show up his ugly head again. Let me see whether I stay uh, past a good two years and you know, because that's why you have faith. You have to hold on to that your faith and your confession. That's why your submit submitting to God must be here every day. You say, submit to him and, he, uh, and submit to God and resist the devil, and he will free from you. Not resist the devil. It's not going to if, submission to God because you don't know what you have power to say no to the devil except you submit to God. The authority to say no only comes from God. The authority to reject the plans of evil only comes from God. Who are you to tell Satan to shut up? Hey, yeah. Oh, except the submission to God, believing in that God that created him, that gives the power to you to say no to him and submit to God and resist the devil. And Satan will flee from you. But otherwise, we don't want to submit to God. We want to resist the devil. Huh? No. He, the devil will not listen. But when we submit to God and resist the devil, he will listen to you because you have the authority over him to Christ Jesus. I say, Lord, in the, I say, no more. Begin to say, no more. No more in my life. No more in life of my children. No more. He said, affliction will not rise. Is that not the word of God declared? Affliction will not rise again. I mean, you will not pass through failure in your life again. You will not pass through. The Bible says you have passed through what you are passing through already. He said, it's going to accept you and establish you. That's what I have passed through what I have passed through. You told me that you're going to settle me. You told me that you're going to bless me. You told me that you will lift me up. You told me that you will change my life. You told me that you will transform me. That's what the word of God says that he will do to you. You have suffered in all. I have suffered in all. No more. No more. No more in this land. No more in this land. No more in my life. No more in my family. Somebody pray and tell that spirit that no more. Open your heart and pray and decree and declare that no more to failure, that no more in the name of Masoto Tekata, Ropa Tolimakata, Matoko Kotole Kelebon, 
rapatele masante ya makoto le makapa rusate bakumbra dakadi lo zukoto le makaya u makoto le makande le bon rapeto le masante le bon in jesus name our lord we pray in jesus name our lord we pray i want you to open your bible i want you to open your bible psalm 18 verse 40 look at it very well Psalm 18 verse Psalm, Psalm 18 verse 40 Psalm 18 verse 40 says look at it the dark also has given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that eat me okay god has given him the neck of his enemy that he may destroy thee see what is good to forgot to destroy our enemies i mean to me and when i look at the scripture from genesis to revelation study the scripture and look at it very well because uh, sometimes when the scripture speaks you also have to look at other scripture sometimes many of us have just own one scripture i think that's that's all you know the scripture complement each other so david was saying here God has given him the neck of his enemy that he might destroy it. I know we're going to pray that God will destroy the necks of our enemy, but I want you to have the understanding. God, love is in us. Sometimes we do pray some prayer with emotion. Is that emotion? To me, I don't say that God don't destroy the enemy. Don't don't misquote me. But God also love is in us so much. He loves them as he loves you. So if you are waiting for someone to die, you are going to stay long. Because God loves the person. If what you wish daily that God let me just hear the good news, specify and die. You're going to wait for long. <laughs> Because God has patience. He's a God of patience. The Bible says God loves a sinner. What kind of category of a sinner are we still talking about? Not the one that is lying, you know. You think the one that God loves so much? The one that is just lying. Oh, this one don't commit too much sin. He's just a liar. God, so we can say, he was the killer. The one that is killing. If God should not love Paul, Paul should have died. Paul should have died because remember, Paul is among those that called putting the children of God in the prison and killing people. So it, that's why I say I'm not worthy to call a disciple because of what he has done. I want us to have the clear understanding of when you say God want to give you your enemy. When God bless you, Lord. He told him the reason of blessing him because you have not asked me the head of your enemies. He said, "It's part of part of his prayer. Give me head of my enemy. Let me finish them." God told him because you have not asked the head of my enemy. He said, "Now, what I'm going to do for you." So the understanding is this. So as I'm going to let you pray this prayer, Lord, let me have victory over the head of my enemy. I'm into my own time. Mean you don't have nobody in your heart. You don't pray over nobody, and you never have that thought in your heart. I mean, if you put your uh, prayer and you visualize somebody, maybe you have been told in the prophecy. Once you have been told somebody is your enemy, the Bible told you what you do to the person. Now that is if somebody, if somebody woke up to you, this is the person that is your enemy. The Bible told you what you do, how to do it again. You, You, you say you, now you fight in a different form again. He said, "Give water, give him bread." That's how he told you to do. He said, "By doing this, oh, you are putting a coal of fire upon the person." And I told you, someone that's so deep in a, in a spiritual that he will not take it from you. He will not drink it because if you know if he's drinking it, he's in trouble. Many of you, you think that person you are giving that you. They, are, they they know very well. Ah, they know very well. The one that's so deep, they will not, they will not take it. They will not eat it. Ah, because the word of God is so is. You think the word of God is a joke? Say, give him water, give him bread. Ah, pastor, that one don't work. I hear some Muslims, some Christians say, oh, uh, what you fall faster is you gun like a ye. Come on. The judgment of the Lord Jesus is greater than what you see. Even there is a massive war. When he begins his judgment, you will be surprised, my God. 
so that you lower God that in his judgment, but he's the judge in righteousness. He gives time, he knows, he weighs everything. The judgment of God, even though the enemy will be shaken, hallelujah, he, even though he moves to generation to generation, remember God said not only one person that will die, if God wants to judge, he moves iniquity, not only when God wants to judge, not only that person, he moves that iniquity, even to the third generations. But it's a patient God. David said, said in his word, Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies, that I may destroy them, not happen. He has a chance to kill Saul. God gave him victory to kill Saul. But he never laid his hand on Saul. He knew this principle of the kingdom. That, oh, he dare not to. And God blessed him. That's why God called David a man of one heart. If somebody can just take that title from God, God himself. Not because he's a perfect man. Remember, even himself, he killed too. But because of his heart, thinking about God before any decision. You see, that is, and he never repeat one sin again. He never worshiped any idol. We look, begin to look at Genesis, look at Second Chronicle, First Chronicle, Second Chronicle, uh, first Chronicle. God always compare other kings. You see, this king walked like his father David. David never had the thought in his mind. Let me go to another God. Never, 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 never say, oh, this God of Philistine can help me. This God of uh, this, he never crossed his mind one single day. He believed, he had the clear understanding of the God that is serving. Even when he was passing through things in life, he always looked unto God. When, you, even when there is no hope for his life, he always looked unto God. He believed God. So, if you are praying, they say somebody at the place of your work, your boss don't want you to get promotion. He said, in the name of Jesus, my father, let my, my boss die. Let my, you're going to stay for long. Let my boss die. Let my boss die. I, I pray that anybody you begin to mention the name of the person. This person I command you will die. After you finish that prayer, the person die. <laughs> that little prayer you can pray. If you say God deliver me, He know what to do. If God save me, He know what to do. And God will say we should let the enemy finish. Let the enemy go and make another scripture. Again, that told you. So it's the understanding of the scripture. It's the understanding of the scripture and also to know the real mind of God. There's one thing you pray, but one thing, there's a mind of God. No matter what you say in your prayer, there's one thing they call the mind of God itself. And the mind of God prevails over every prayer. No matter how you say, there's one mind of God that prevails over even that your request. It's the know to know the mind of God. What is the mind of God? He has told you. God loves a sinner. He do not want a sinner to die. That is his mind that has revealed to you. I don't say the enemy will die. I know the enemy dies. If God keep my name, I would like it. But the mind of God that is. So the principle is to pray that God should save you. He know what to do. To deliver you. And over the battle to God. He say, hold your peace. For the Lord your God will fight for you. He can tell you what to do. Even though God can tell you to pray it, and He will do it. Hallelujah. And also, if you are the one against somebody, repent also. I want you to pray. The Bible told us in that Psalm 18, verse 40, For thou hast given me the neck of my head, that has made you destroy them. What is this thing? He's talking about G3. See, He has given me the neck. When you, somebody put his leg on the enemy, that means a sign of victory. I want you to get the back. Say that he gave me victory. That he gave me victory over my enemies. Say, give me victory over my enemies. He said, that I'm giving me victory. The neck of my enemy, that's a victory. That's a victory right there. That's a victory right there. Say, Father, give me victory now. You can pray for your victory. You know what to do. Say, Lord, give me that victory. Open your heart and pray. That in the name of Jesus. Give me that victory. Open your heart to pray. Let the enemies of my life always fail. Open your heart to God. Pray that Lord God of heaven will give you victory. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Makoto Lift the voice to God. Daddy, give me victory. 
over the legs of my enemies, that he give me victory in my Catholic in my camp and roost at Let their mission fail, let their plans fail, let their thoughts fail in the name of Jesus. Over my life, give me victory over my enemies. Open your heart to pray. Somebody pray. I pray for victory. I pray for victory. I declare victory in the name of Jesus. I declare victory over all their plans. I declare victory over all their ways. I declare victory in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Makapatoko palaba. Le prendo sikelebo. Makadole maketelebo. Makodole mesentelebo. Le prendo sikelebo. La prendo tekelebo. Makadala bagaba. Makotole makatelebo. Le prende ketelebo. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Victory. 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 In the name of Jesus. Somebody declare your victory. Give me victory. Give me victory. Over their plan. Give it in Jesus' name. We pray. He said, Thou hast delivered me from the strangers of the devil, and thou hast made me the head of the Eden. He said, The people who have not known shall serve me. That's what David said. The people that don't know who have not known, not known, shall serve me. That's victory right there. Your enemy will serve you. Say that, amen. That's a victory. Your enemy will serve you. You know, I told you the, the great victory is don't think they say you cannot do. Now you're doing it. I, I, tell me, how you going to look? You got a baby in front of that the one that said, no, you're not, you're not going to have that baby. And you're parenting your children. Ah, he said, that, he said they will kill them. No, they will not kill them because the one that gave you, he has made them powerless. Bible says, I'm going to set a table before you, before your enemies. No, how sweet. No, and you, you have a car. You say they can never have a car in your life. Nobody will have a good car. And you, you get a car. And you pick them up to sit in that car. So it's going to be. You say they will have people talk. No, they can't have people talk. They'll be they will, they'll cover their face. That's what God is going to do for them. That's how they to see things that they say that you cannot do. And they say they will be imagine, ah, what kind of power this person? Upon what we have done for this person. Upon where we have moved, huh? this person is the champion. That's the law we give him the three. Say that, amen. They say you will not come back, you come back again. And even if you take it, then break, take this and put it in your pocket. Shame will catch the camp of your enemy. The law will shame them. The law will shame them. They have no choice. They will submit to you. They will submit to you. In the name of Jesus. He said, Those that don't know me will serve me. Today they will begin to serve you. In the name of the Lord, we show forth his power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, we show forth his power. The Lord, we show forth his power over that situation, over your life, over the camp of enemy that been saying no, that no progress. Over the camp of enemy that been saying no, there is no such as the Lord, we show forth his power. The Lord, we show forth his power. The Lord, we show forth his power. Everyone will disgrace them. Everyone will unclose them. In the name of Jesus, everyone will disgrace them. Everyone will unclose them. In the name of Jesus, everyone will disgrace them. Everyone will unclose them. In the name of Jesus, He will render them powerless. I am a kundayaba. I hear a story of someone that they have done all kind of things to the person, and the person succeed. And it's the person that is doing it. Call the person. Ah, he said, "You are too much," and they begin to pray. They will have tried to do this to you. We try to do this. We try to corner you. But you are succeed. I say, ah, no hand will touch you anymore. No power. That's the enemy pray. Because they have tried. Heavy load. Too much. Hallelujah. Heavy E. You can have shut up. You have been free. In the name of Jesus. That your enemy, your enemy will see you and they'll cover their face. They will put their face down. They can't able to look at you. You will begin to shine before them. All they say you cannot have. All those things they say you cannot achieve them cannot do. Where they say you will not be in life. Let everyone begin to take you there. Oh, that supremacy of God's power. That supremacy of God's power. That's the majesty of Jehovah God. Doing what they say you cannot do. Having that thing. That means God is showing his power. Flexing his muscle in the camp of your enemy. He said nothing. Why God say he has the key of David is now. 
The enemy wants to shut, but you open the door. The enemy wants to close, you open the door again. That shall be your portion today. In the name of Jesus, your enemy shall be defeated. In the name of Jesus, they shall be defeated. They shall be defeated. They shall be defeated. In any area that they have formed themselves, in the name of Jesus, in any area that have gathered themselves, in any area that have formed themselves, they will fail. 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 Their mission will end up in failure over your life, over your children, over your family. Their mission will end up in failure in the name of Jesus. The enemy of Joseph have no choice at the end all because of what they have tried. Ah, they still prostrate at the end. They still lay themselves flat before Joseph. That's a big opportunity. Too. Your enemy will lay themselves flat before you. They will beg. Now we begin that work now. That mission. Everyone will begin it now. Thank you, my father. That's what God will do for you. That's what God will do in your life. You will do for your children. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible told us in that Psalm 18. Verse 44, he said, As soon as the year of me, the stranger shall submit itself unto me. He said, The stranger shall fade away, fade away, and be afraid out of the, the closet where they have hide themselves. Hallelujah. He said, The Lord leave it. Blessed be the rock. Let the God, let the God of my salvation be exalted. Let the God, let that God of your salvation, who is that person? Who is the God of your salvation? Please type it quickly. Type. Who is the God? He said, let the God, let the God of my salvation, let the God of my salvation, who is the God of your Type it. I want to hear you. Who is the God of your salvation? Who is the God of your salvation? Please, I, I, quickly. I know he's coming. I'll wait for it. Let me see it. Who is the God of your salvation? Hallelujah. I, I don't see those that can type. Who, or you say it. Who is the God of your salvation? He said, Let the God of my salvation be exalted. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Jesus is the God of our salvation. Through Him we are saved. Through Him we are delivered. Jesus our Lord. Ah, Yeshua, our Messiah, is the God of our salvation. Let him be exalted. Remember the Bible told us, if Jesus can be lifted up, he will draw men unto you. If Jesus can be lifted up, if that Jesus be exalted, what is going to do? Blessing will come to you. Favor will come to you. Now let it begin. Oh, Jesus, oh the God of your salvation, be exalted now in the life of your children. Let the chain break. Let the chain break. Let the chain break in your life. In the name of Jesus, thank you, our good God. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Now, I want us to pray. We have prayed. We have asked the Lord. Now, let's offer the manifestation of it. I call it out. Those things that you have prayed in this past week, let's call it out. We call it out to manifest. I call that out to manifest. I don't know what you have asked in this past this week that you have prayed before the Lord. I call it out. I call it out. I call it out physically. I call that car physically. I call that child physically. Begin to call those things out. Let it come out physically. In the spiritual realm, God has given you the victory. But now I call it out. I call it out. God is not a man lie. He is able to do it exceedingly. He told us to ask him. And the one that told us to ask him, I believe in his word, is ready to give to you. Call those things out. I call the blessing out. I call my beating out. I call my healing out. I call my deliverance out. Let them deliver to me. I call that job out. Call those things out to come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out physically. Come out this manif manifest. 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 Tell those things to manifest. Tell those things to manifest. Tell your healing to manifest. Tell your breakthrough to manifest. Call those things out. I said, let it manifest. I call that husband out. I call that baby out. I call that child out. I call that healing out to manifest. 
that God of pleasure break you out to malvash. Tell those things to malvash. Tell those things to malvash. In the name of Jesus, nothing shall hold you back. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray we call those things out to manifestation. The victory that God has given to you, the job that God has given to you, the life partner, whatever thing, that house, that car, that new job, no matter what you have asked the Lord, we call those things out to manifestation. Receive it now, take it, let it begin to happen physically. Let it begin to happen. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more deny. We call those things out and let the name of Jehovah God be glorified. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Give God the praise. Give God the praise that is going to do it in your life. Give God the praise that is going to do it in your life. Give God the praise that is going to do it in your life. Give God the praise that is going to do it in your life. Give God the honor. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give praise. Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. So shall it be unto you. So be unto you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We begin to call it out. And we see those things begin to manifest. We begin to see it happening. Happening. You begin to see yourself. Ah, they have given it to me. They have opened this as you come. Hold that thing will begin to manifest to you in Jesus' name. Just put in mind that uh, today is a Bible discussion. And I know the Lord of God will do great things. And now you are dealing with the book of Colossians. And also you can join on Zoom. Hallelujah. On or YouTube. You can join on Zoom to discuss the word of God. And I pray the Lord of God will do great things in your life. We yeah. are Colossians chapter 2 now. Hallelujah. The Lord of God will do great things in your life. Let's share the grace together. For the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His refreshed Holy Spirit, be with us now and for more. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of the Lord, all the days will lie. We shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Can somebody give the Lord the praise? Give the God the honor and glory. You are blessed. Thank you, Jesus.